this is Aiden's toy trove. This is part five of my custom horse unpacking. This guy is a stable mate. Um, his name is Elf. Typically I have my stable mates in their very own box so that I don't lose them in the bin with the big horses, which happens more than you would think. They get overlooked and then I can't find them when the mini classes come around. But this guy's Elf, and he was kind of hanging around with the big horses, so I thought I would show him to you anyway. He was done by Janine uh, Olson Robinson. What does your belly say, guy? Jean Olson. I think she remarried, though, so she has a different last name. But he's um, a stablemate scale, para... Um, one of those new World Equestrian game molds. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what it's called. G4. Cute. Swishy tail. I had one that um, pretty closely matched this guy. Funny story, um, going back to the losing your stable mates with your big horses. I took this guy to Briar Fest one year and I packed him up and I showed him and I brought him home. And then the next year for Briar Fest, um, I could not find this horse anywhere for the life of me. So I purchased another little custom fjord from um, Janine and he was similar but not the same. And I was kind of bummed, but it was okay because I, I still had a cute fjord. And then a year later, I'm going through all my packing that I've like already been through because how these horses were packed in the same exact bins and I pulled all the packing out and I find this little teeny weeny bag. And there's Elf sitting there. So he had been uh, hiding in his original packing for two years and I had actually replaced him. And uh, poor Elf was still hanging out there. And then I, I ended up selling the other piece because they were quite similar. That was just kind of a funny, funny little happening. This one is, okay, I'm gonna say an absolute monster to pack. Um, but I love this horse. Oh, and this actually isn't who I thought it was. But this horse is also a monster to back. He is a custom by Tiffany Purdy from the um, the Kathleen Moody Saddlebred Stallion Mold. And this rubber band's kind of tight on his head, so I want to make sure that I don't put pressure on his ears. I'm always really careful with that when um, when we're packing them that I'm not putting too much pressure with the rubber bands on any of their limbs. Oh no, his little forelock braid was stuck in there. Hopefully it'll lie down nice and flat. Okay. So this, uh, this is Freedom Generator. Um, I saw this horse when Tiffany owned him and I absolutely loved him. And she would not, would not, would not, would not, would not sell him to me, no matter how much I begged. And when he came up for sale, I just, I could not buy him fast enough. So he became mine. And this is Freedom Generator. And he's really hard to pack because of that um, beautiful tail. And um, he does have a quite a bit of resculpting on top of that. Um, I think I said he's the, the cloth horse mold with the cell and arrow head. And he's really heavy. Uh, Tiffany does some pretty drastic resculpts, so her pieces are usually really heavy. They're very sturdy, but um, they're very heavy, and that that weight puts extra pressure on their um, on their limbs, on their ears. Uh, so they have to be packed with extra care. He has pretty little uh, braids in his forelock, and right up by the base by his bridle path. He has um, um, the gated shoes on his front feet, and then he has the metal shoes on his back feet, and um, a nice long tail, and he's got beautiful, beautiful dapples. I just love him, and I love Salonero's head, so that's probably why I love this guy's head, and he's so big. He's so big that I can't get him close to the camera without knocking his feet on the table, so sorry about that. You'll have to look from afar. 
but I think you could see him pretty good. I hope I'll put him down. This is Freedom Generator done by Tiffany Purdy. Um, I'm not sure if he'll be coming to Briarfest. This year, it's just me. I won't have my bestie friend to help me um, with the shuttling them to the tables and packing and unpacking, so I'm really nervous this year. Um, I have uh, kind of a form of chronic fatigue, so um, going to a big show like that is a big deal for me, and I'm trying to keep my show herd as manageable as possible, and I'm trying to avoid the hard-to-pack horses. But as far as hard to pack horses go, that's probably um, in easy hard to pack horse. Oh, the irony. This one is Spot a Dot, another full by Tammy Myrold. I just adore Tammy's work. I have um, two little Appaloosa Gillens by her. This is the, the Gillen mold. And he is a uh, leopard Appaloosa with beautiful hair detailing. I have another one that is a gray blanket Appaloosa. Until I don't know if she is in my stack right here or if maybe she was packed in my other bin. But this is the little guy I have to work with right now. So this is Spotted Dot, who has a, I know um, his mane has had some work. I think his tail has had some work too. I love Tammy's Appaloosas. They're very unique, very Tammy, very detailed. And this has been another phenomenal show horse for me. So this is Spotted Dot, done by Tammy Myrold. And he has minimal re-sculpting on him. So this is one that I love to show because he's very easy to pack. Ooh, and I wanted to show you, just look at that hair detailing on the back of his leg. You can just see even um, the little hairs on the backs of his legs uh, follow the correct growth pattern. Tammy does such beautiful, beautiful work. And I have um, another piece um, that she's finishing up right now. And I'm really excited to see him when he's done. I'm just kind of going to take a quick look to I have sitting here. If I have my other Dylan, I'm not seeing him though, so he's not in the stack. Okay, here's another hefty one who needs a pouch. One of these days, I really, really, really need to get some more pony pouches and relabel these so that it will make packing a whole lot easier. Okay, this one's name is Zalika. She was a Nan auction piece. I know this year there is no Nan. Um, is very sad but I understand um, I haven't really been following the whole Nan shenanigan shenanigans going on but I know that um, an organization like that takes a tremendous amount of time and a tremendous amount of money so I, I very much admire everyone who has volunteered to put time into Nan so thank you everyone who has done that this one was, a, again, a Nan auction piece. This one was done by Maggie Bennett. She's on the Pride Arabian Mare Mold, which was probably, okay, my second favorite Briar Mold, with the first being El uh, She has had her head turned and her tail flipped and lots of subtle um, re-sculpting details. At one point, uh, I received an offer on this horse that I just could not turn down, and I ended up selling her. And I was sad, and I missed her. And many years later, she came up for sale again. And I was able to bring her home. So this is Zalika. I really hope to get her a full someday. That would be just wonderful. If you have not met Maggie in person, she is a hoot. She's so very talented, and she is funny, and uh, the greatest teacher. I took a workshop on um, sculpting a horse head uh, with her at Briar West and it was great. Absolutely great workshop. This one is Spot Me Now, which it might not actually be. 
Um, sometimes I come up with these generic names <laughs> just because I'm in such a rush to name them and they aren't the names that stick with the whores. So some of them have a couple different names. Ah, it's another Tammy My World piece. This one was, uh, I believe, the overall reserve champion at Briar West. He's the Iticus mold who has been remade with his head tucked. And he has these lovely, 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 lovely button braids. And he has a re-sculpted tail. I'll show that to you just as soon as I get this packing all put back where it belongs. I believe uh, we have been calling this guy sharply dressed he's kind of a family horse um, we call him hubby's horse I just love kind of that odd pattern on his face and this dark brown I don't know what it's called but I like it and then he has these beautiful beautiful little button braids great detailing on them and then um, where they uh, attach to his neck um, and there's lots of individual hair detailing and then on his tail oh my gosh he has the prettiest braid uh, down the base of his tail and then it's just such a graceful slope onto this swishy tail of his love this guy I think I have probably too many that it kisses but how can you say no to a horse like this, right? And I think, I don't remember, but I think maybe this is a Totilus head. And this fellow was done in 2016, so he's a fairly recent piece uh, and a fairly new face to the show ring. This is Sharply Dressed by Tammy Myrold, and I believe he's an Oedicus with a Totilus head. And I know I slaughtered Totilus's name, so I'm sorry, Totilus. And then I, you have to see his pretty swishy tail. Okay, so I think we will call that the conclusion to part five. And I'm already losing track of which number we're on, but uh, thanks for watching.